Hey guys, welcome to the card review series. So today we are looking at a rescue ham, rescue ham tar, rescue jer, rescue rat. Re no, 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 that, that, that's a hamster. Maybe a gerbil. That's not a rat. That's not even remotely close to what a rat looks like. It's always oh, clearly too cute. I mean, it's closer to even a mouse than a rat. Yeah, whatever. I guess Konami does not know their animals. This is a rat. This is not a rat. <laughs> you know, it's simple. It's simple. It's first grade Konami. <laughs> anyway, finally gonna get to this card, you know. Uh, it's been a cool minute since this card was announced, but I really didn't know how to, like, really handle it, you know. Its effect is really convoluted and confusing, so you really gotta go into a lot of detail on, you know, how good this card is when it comes to Pendulum, so I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to head this uh this complicated shit head on, you know. I've been looking at other people's reviews, Nim Nim says it's shit. Silent the Sigma says it's a staple, so you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down and look at it myself and you know, decide whether this card is worthy of being, you know, the staple that Silent Sigma says, or some crap that, you know, no one should give a shit about because it's not even in comparison. So Clearly, when you hear the name Rescue Rat, you pretty much have a freaking heart attack because you think, oh god, Konami, no. So, if you guys don't know, there's set precedence. There is Rescue Cat, the card that is super broke and is super banned. And, yeah, even with the, you know, the whole Dark Strike Fighter errata, it is still really, 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 really good. Like, if it came, if it literally just, all of a sudden just plopped, unbanned, at one, it would still be just so good. I'm going to tell you a play right now that you can do with Rescue Cat, and you'll be like, oh, wow, that's really, really good. All right, you know, Summoner Monk, pitch Summoner Monk. So I'm going to pitch Summon Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat, tribute itself, go ahead and summon the two level 3 Bs, so you summon those two uh, uh, tuner uh, Bs from uh, X-Sabers. Go ahead and summon two of those. Go ahead and turn into two, uh, what is it, Arcanite Editions, the level 7 Synchro guy. Uh, blow up four cards and then make a Drago Sock. Yeah. Also, keep in mind, you tribute it and you summon two beasts from your deck. Summon two pieces from your deck, and it tributes itself to the graveyard. Hmm. So, I can summon this, tribute it, summon a kitty cat, and a hoot cake. And then banish it, and summon from Mushroom Gelato. So, did I just make freaking Rescue Cat a one-card tiramisu? That, you know, in essence, it's more powerful than Angeli just because it summons two instead of one? Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 Rescue Cat's broke, and it should stay banned. Alright, move on, a couple years later, now we're starting to get into the XC era, and then we got this wonderful card called Rescue Rabbit, and that card is limited to one, and despite everybody whining and crying about damn Rescue Rabbit being limited to one, put it up two, it's not doing anything, Rescue Rabbit is really broken as well, and at one point was even on the edge of being banned. <sighs> Rescue Rabbit, you can't summon it from the deck, so they kind of tweaked that problem from Rescue Cat, because you can summon Rescue Cat from the deck while I said, you know, Summon Monk. So they fixed that. When it's summoned, you can go ahead and banish it. So it doesn't go to the graveyard, so you can't, you know, monster or born it like you could with Rescue Cat. See, they're, they're fixing their problems. And then you summon two normal monsters. And then the funny ass shit is that in the exact same damn pack that Rescue Rabbit came out, Loggy and Doka came out. And then, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh players are smart, and then they're like, <gasps> Sabersaurus and Kabuza, Loggy, a freaking solemn judgment. Good job. Good job. And then that deck wrecked havoc for a cool minute before Konami decided to just go... Yeah, where, where, where's my shotgun? Where's my shotgun? Um, sorry, rabbit, you're cute with your little helmet, but ch -ch bang ch -ch bang Now only one of you is left, and you can't multiply. <laughs> so, that card is at one, and, uh, you know, also, you know, with the whole um, Evil Swarm's getting that 1950 normal monster that they can go ahead and make an Ophion with, which they still do, but it's not as bad with rabbit being at one. Anyway, so... I'm about five minutes into the video, and I haven't even talked about the new card because I have to go off about set precedence. So once again, this is Rescue Rat. Give yourself a heart attack because you know the effect's going to be broken. Or maybe not. <laughs> so, as you can see by the picture, Rescue Rat, or Rescue Hamster, is a pendulum monster. Okay, so 
you, you know, it seems like each new era we get a new card. You know, Rescue Cat was Synchro, Rescue Rabbit was Exceed, this is a Pendulum, so what's next, you know? What can you possibly do? Rescue Dog, Rescue Cow, Rescue Pig? Come on, Kami. Come on. Maybe Rescue Hamster, and then you could take the exact same picture. <laughs> anyway. Rescue Rat is a Earth Beast Pendulum Effect monster that is level 4. It has a Pendulum Scale of 5. So, you know, most of the decks summon 4, so if you put a 3 and you put a 5, you can summon all the 4s that you want. Awesome. Pendulums still aren't good, so you need a little bit more to convince me. And its Pendulum Effects are much, much longer and more convoluted than any other Pendulum monster we've gotten so far, so let me go into detail about them and try to analyze them the best as I can. Alright, so... Pendulum effects. When this is in the Pendulum Zone, you can banish this card from your Pendulum Zone and add two face-up Pendulum monsters with the same name from your extra deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Rescue Rat once per duel. Okay. That takes a lot of setup. And that's, the pr and that's probably one of the major problems with this card compared to its predecessors, to compared to its ancestors. They take no setup! If I want to go summon Cat... Banish Cat Summon 2, damn, I got it. If I want to go Summon Rabbit, Banish Rabbit, Summon 2, I got that. This takes freaking setup. I I already have to have two face-up Pendulum Monsters with the same damn name in the extra deck to then put them back in my hand. And then I banish this card from Pendulum Zone, so there you go, I just lost one of my Pendulums. Now, I think the only thing that you really want to get back is and you will get back is two odd eyes that's it where if you go summon odd eyes send odd eyes during the end phase get one of the magicians summon odd eyes send odd eyes get another one of the magicians but then at that point you got the two magicians you're golden unless one of your opponent unless your opponent destroys one of your pendulum monsters you're golden you're ready to go so having this guy it's kind of like a you know a backup plan like oh shit hit the fan so let me go ahead and summon this rescue rat banish it and then get two odd eyes back and then start over because i have to now so that effect's not good that effect's not that effect's not broke this effect is not what we expect from a rescue card we want a rescue card so, I mean, I guess in the aspect of a rescue card, I mean, you are kind of saving two Pendulum Monsters from the extra deck, and you get them back to your hand. And then you can, pen when you Pendulum Summon again, you can Pendulum Summon them from your hand. Oh, wait, they're Pendulum Monsters. You can just Summon them from the extra deck. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, there's this Pendulum Effect. Broke much for you? Alright, now for its Monster Effect. Oh, shit. It's got two effects. Yeah, that's... Two times the effect that the Prudence has had, so, oh shit, it's gotta be broke! Ah! During your main phase, if this card was normal summon this turn, oh fuck, you fucked it up, you fucked it up. You, well, you didn't fuck it up, fuck it up, you fixed it, but, you know, in comparison to its predecessors, this has, this is normal summon. Damn, even Rescue Rabbit just says it can't be summoned from the deck, so you can at least bring it back with Levier and use its effect. You can't even do that with this card, it has to be normal summon. You have to use your one... You know, unless you're playing other cards that allow you to get more multi multiple normal summons, you're one normal summon this turn to go ahead and uh, get this effect. So, wow, that's lame. All right, during your main phase, you can, if this card was normal summon this turn, and a face-up level 5 or lower pendulum monster is in your extra deck. Okay, so, great. So, level 5 or lower, so great. So, the best freaking pendulum monster that I want to get, freaking odd eyes, can't even do it. It has to be level 5 or lower. Alright, so, pretty much the two magicians, because those, are the, those are the, I know there's other pendulum monsters, but that's pretty much it. Every single time a new pendulum monster is freaking released, it's not as good as those three, so forget it. So, the two magicians, alright, let's continue. Uh, you contribute this card, alright, so, I'm. I have no monsters on my field. This is my first normal summon. All right. Well, of course, this takes a little bit set up because you have to have the pendulum monster in the extra deck already. So, you know, it's not like Odd Eyes where you can just send itself. These are the magicians. So clearly, they've been killed and destroyed and sent to the extra deck. So, you know, your opponent probably has some involvement. This is an early game. This is like mid late game. Trip with this card and special summon from your main deck two monsters with the same name as one of the level 5 or lower pendulum monsters that is face up in your extra deck. Their effects are negated and they are destroyed during the end phase. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You summon two monsters with the same name as from special summon from your main deck. You special summon two monsters with the same name as the level 5 or lower pendulum monster. 
Okay, that's... Well, it still takes a little bit of setup, but it's not terrible. Terrible. I thought I read that wrong. That you summon from the extra deck. Two more would say, wait, so you have to have three? No. We summon this. You target the level five or lower pendulum monster. You go ahead and tribute this card to the graveyard. Then you special summon two from the main deck two monsters with the exact same name. Up to the level five or lower pendulum monster. And their effects are negated and they're, they're destroyed during the end phase. Alright, so... That's good, and now I'm happy that Konami didn't do just any Pendulum Monster, because then that would be broke as fuck. Alright, listen, 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 and this is why I'm glad that Konami did this, because it'd be broke as fuck. Alright, Odd Eyes. Odd Eyes, tribute yourself, go again and get this card. Normal summon this card, go ahead, target Odd Eyes, tribute this, summon two more Odd Eyes. What level is Odd Eyes? Mmm, seven. Alright, Draco Sack? Big Eye? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 good. Good, good job, Konami. Good job, good job. All right. So, level five or lower. That's all you get. And clearly, what you're going to be doing with this monster is—I mean, that's how freaking gearing you're going to exceed with them. So, you know, I don't even have to ask you what you're going to do with these level five or lower. So, uh, pretty much level five or lower pendulum. This is what you get. And of course, the two best monsters are the two magicians. One's level three. One's level five. Uh, I believe that they're both dark. I want to say. I want to say that they're both dark. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Because that, you know that's a that's a, that's a big factor on what they are. Because if one of them is light, especially the level five is light, you know what I mean. You can go into a Pleiades. I mean that's a pretty good play, you know. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, da, da, da. They're both dark. They're both dark. So no Pleiades for you. Here, anyway. So you, so once again, you can't do eyes, and that's the thing, is that your opponent has some involvement with this card with this card because clearly one of your pendulum monsters is in the extra deck so something happened to that monster to get it into the extra deck it's not like odd eyes where it just tributes itself or destroys itself and puts it into the extra deck it's not like that these are the level five or lowers clearly they don't have an effect like odd eyes therefore they were in the pendulum zone they were in the pendulum zone they got killed they, your opponent mst you mst something they got killed they got destroyed they went to the extra deck then you played this card so Something must have happened to him. So once again, this takes a little bit more setup, but the effect's not terrible. It's okay. I mean, it's totally not like its predecessors. I I give it that. Not even close to its predecessors. Its predecessors would have done some broke ass shit. Like when this like if they wanted to make this shit like the predecessors, they would have said like when this card is summoned, you can uh, tribute this card and summon two pendulum monsters from your deck, or tribute this card and put two pendulum monsters in the pendulum zone. That would have been something I would expect out of a rescue monster. This is kind of like clipped and neutered and clipped and neutered and clipped and neutered and clipped and neutered over and over and over and over until freaking the, 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 you see that little the, see that little split? You see that little split on, on Rescue Rat's picture right there? That That is Rescue, Rescue Rat's butt crack that has gone all the way up to its belly button because Konami has kicked this card's ass so damn hard that it has literally split its ass all the way up to its navel. <laughs> oh, that's graphic, but seriously, they have neutered this card. Like, wow, alright, so it takes setup to get it off. And, of course, level 5 or lower. So I'm happy that they did that, because if that was one of the plays with Odd Eyes, oh my god, that would be broke. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, you would play this card. Hell yeah. Even at 1, because if that's one of the plays where you can just go Odd Eyes, tribute, get this card, summon this card, uh, tribute it, go ahead and get two Odd Eyes and make a Draco sack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, people would do that. Oh yeah, that would make Pendulum so much better. And really, that's not even making Pendulum better, that's just reinforcing the fact that Draco sack and Big Eye are good. <laughs> So, yeah, it's just not as good as the other two. So, would I say it's a pendulum staple? No, no. I'm I I, I like Mega Cap. I'm not mad. Why did I say Mega Cap? I like Silent Sigma. You know, he's one of my favorite Yu Gi Oh!s. I love when he talks, but I wouldn't call this a staple. Not even remotely. Your deck is already filled up enough. You already got nine cards. Three Magician, three Magician, and three Odd Eyes. That's it. That's all you need. That's nine cards. And I say you shouldn't even run any less. You want to get those cards as soon as possible. If you draw multiple copies, you can summon them when you punch them summon. So, yeah. I wouldn't say this is a staple. Not even close. Like, if it was... Any Pendulum face-up Pendulum monster in your extra deck? Oh, yeah. Run this card at one, definitely. You know? And keep in mind. 
that if you draw multiple of these pendulums, so let's say that you can you got you got one of your level fives in the extra deck and you got this guy in your hand and you're like, next turn I'm gonna summon this guy, tribute him, summon the two other magicians from my deck and XC go into like a Volcasaurus, opponent's gonna eat dick, it's gonna be great. And you got this card, then your turn you can draw the other magician. Mm. Because mm -mm. you have to summon two monsters with the same name as one of the monsters. So that's a given. That's a given. If you want to play this card, that's a given. You gotta play you gotta play three of each of the magicians. Three of the magicians, three of the magicians, and why the hell would you not play three of the odd eyes? He's the best one. So yeah, so that just reinforces the fact that you're still clocking up your deck with pendulums. Now, I've really already sat down at it to Daniel discussing talking about pendulums already, so I'm not gonna go into detail about that. I will put a link in the description, you can go ahead and click that and go to my video. It's a live video. You can actually see me while I'm sitting there and discussing what I think about pendulums so far. But so far it's, it ain't it yet. This ain't no. This ain't it yet. This is not the threshold that we need for pendulums. You would think that it is, but it's not. You know, we we need something. We need something to push it over the edge, you know? This isn't it. This is definitely not. We need a malicious plague spreader. We need a tour guide rescue rabbit. We need something for pendulums to push it over the edge and make this shit broke. Because at this point, this is just gimmicky. This is... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not yet. Not yet. Alright, so sorry this is a long one, but I really want to, you know, give this card 100%. You know, it's a rescue card. I had to do it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. You know... Uh, you know, cards are slowly being revealed, and, you know, I don't always have, you know, new cards to talk about, uh, so I'm gonna need you guys' help, you know, be sure to comment in the comment section below any cards that you want me to discuss, uh, one specific card that I know you guys probably want me to discuss, um, I will probably, I'm gonna clear this up right now, uh, Contrast Hero Chaos, I'm going to talk about that, I am, but I'm kinda deciding, should I do that as you know, card discussion right here, where you just see the card and I just discuss it, or, 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 I can do it as a Daniel discuss, and we could do it as a live video, we could do either or, you know, I feel like the card's a little bit bigger, it's kind of like part two of me doing the Daniel discuss of Dark Law, so, if you guys want, be sure to go ahead and comment that, and be like, yeah, we want to see a Daniel discuss, we want to see a live Daniel, and I can go ahead and do that, or if you guys be like, you know, just go ahead and do it as the next, uh, the next uh, card is card review. Then go ahead and do that. I I totally don't mind doing either or. Uh, I generally know what I'm gonna say about him, so that's not gonna take a lot of preparation. But yeah, so this video is going on almost 20 minutes. I can probably keep talking and can make this video 20 minutes. But yeah, I don't think any card review has been 20 minutes since I think Soul Charge. So yeah. So yeah, just be sure to go ahead, comment any cards that you want me to discuss. Uh, and they don't have to be new, they can be old, they can be banned, I can talk about any card, as long as, you know, uh, just tell me and um, I'll give you guys my personal opinion about it. I mean, that's pretty much the card review series and it just. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next card review. Thanks for watching.